Vidura College, Grade 3. Computer Studies, Introduction to Computer. Hi children, now we are going to learn what is a computer. You have already known what is a computer. It is an electronic machine. It accepts data, processes them according to given instructions and output the result. Input, process and output. As well as computer can store data, information or instructions in its memory. Now you know computer accepts data or else we should input data to the computer. Let's see what is data. A collection of facts are called data. There is no meaning. Data is meaningless. You can see an example here. Your name. Ashan. Grade and class of study. 3. Grade 3. Your telephone number. It is also a data. Data is entered into the computer using an input device. Here you can see more examples for data. There are two tables, mark table and a fruit table. In the mark table, there you can see Mandini got 90 marks, Heshan got 72 marks. Nishita got 88. Vihani got 65 for computer studies. As well as in the fruit table, there you can see number of children who chose particular fruit. 7 children for pear. 1 for watermelon. Another one for orange. Another one for apple. Another one for banana. I think you can understand what is data. Now you know we have to input data to the computer. You know what is data now. Let's see what is input. The data or instructions entered to the computer are called Input. Here you can see I have entered Jason's data through the keyboard. Your name, Jason. Your grade, grade 3. Test marks, 85. Telephone number, place where you are residing. Likewise, you can see the data of Jason. Once again, Data or instructions entered to the computer are called input. To input data, we need a device. Let's see what is an input device. A device which is used to enter data or instructions to the computer is called an input device. Once again, a device which is used to enter data or instructions to the computer is called an input device. Here you can see several input devices. Keyboard, mouse, microphone, Scanner, web camera, light pen, touch screen. It's your activity time. Fill in the blank. A computer is an number two. A collection of facts are called. Number three, 
the data or instructions entered to the computer are called number four a device which is used to enter data or instructions to the computer is called an Let's check your answers. A computer is an electronic device. A collection of facts are called data. The data or instructions entered to the computer are called input. A device which is used to enter data or instructions to the computer is called an input device. Hope you can remember how does the computer work. Let's recall it. Input, process and output. Now you know what is an input and how to input data by using input devices. Now we are going to learn what is processing. That is the next step. The action taken by the computer to convert data into information is called processing. After you input data through the mouse and keyboard, or any other input device. Data will be processed in the computer. This happens in the central processing unit of the computer. Here you can see a picture of a central processing unit which has placed inside the system unit. Now you can see an example for processing. Here we are going to input two numbers to get the total. On the screen you can see how does it happen and what are the devices it uses. Now you can see we are going to input two digits 10 and 20 as data. Under the process you can see 10 plus 20. That means we are going to add. We need an addition here. So instruction is the plus mark or the addition. Finally we can get the output as information. It is 30. Information means actually process data. Here you can see the devices we have already used. We used keyboard to input data. Then it has processed inside the CPU. And we can see the output on the monitor screen. What is output? What the computer returns after processing data is called output. Output can be displayed simply on the monitor or print using a printer. Output can be text, sound, video or picture. Here you can see some pictures of output. You can get output as a soft copy as well as a hard copy. Let's see what is a soft copy. The output which is displayed using a monitor. You can see the soft copy on the monitor screen. You can't touch it. But let's see what is the hard copy. The output which is printed on a paper. Here you can see a picture as well as you can touch the hard copy. What is an output device? A device which is used to get the result after processing the input data is called an output device. 
Here you can see examples for output devices. Monitor, printer, speakers, plotter, projector. At the beginning of the lesson, you learn computer input data, process data and gives the output. Do you remember I said that the computer can store data too? Yes, computer can store data. Where is the computer store data or instructions? It uses memory to store for a short period as well as hard disk store data for later use. Here you can see a RAM card and a hard disk. Let's see storage devices. Hard disk, pen drive, CD, DVD. Here you can store your data permanently. How does a computer work? Computer works on commands. We can understand what commands are. Children, please raise your right hand. You receive the command through sound. Your brain made you to raise your right hand. In the same way, a computer works on according to the instructions or commands given to it by the user. It understands them in the form of electric signals. Why electric signals? The computer is made out of electronic circuits. These are housed in the system unit. These circuits can only be operated using electric signals. The power unit which is housed in the system unit provides the necessary power to generate electric signals. Activity 2. Look at the picture and name the correct device. Whether it is an input device, storage device, or an output device. Let's check your answers. Keyboard Input device CD Storage device Speakers Output device Printer Output device Pen drive Storage device, scanner, input device. Thank you, children. See you with another interesting lesson. Goodbye.